Uh, good evening, welcome to my laboratory. This is the uh, EM Junkie uh, Stanley Meyer hybrid circuit with some of my modifications to it. There is an IRF 830 MOSFET there with a heat sink. Uh, that's the on off switch. I have it off right now. There's the partnered coils with the primary overwound uh, one of the two partners. Uh, so that's L1 and L2, L3. There's the uh, 10 ohm, 10 watt load resistor. There's the 1 ohm non inductive current viewing resistor. There's my uh, 100x scope probe connected to what I'm calling test point A. Oops, that's the dog. And there's a, a little neon there with just one wire connected to test point A and the other wire bare. Uh, the voltmeter is showing the input voltage. Since it's off right now, there isn't any input voltage. And uh, here's where the function generator hooks up over here. Function generator's black lead is isolated. And um, so that's, that's that. So uh, let me turn the circuit on. Okay, so there's our input voltage coming from the regulated power supply. Uh, and now I'll turn the function generator on. And as you can see, the voltage goes crazy. Um, there's the scope trace there showing a spike. This is at 500 volts per division. So we have one, two, three point three kilovolts showing on that. And uh, you can see that the neon is glowing a little bit. Now here's the scary part. I've got a, a metal screwdriver here. So you can see there's a little spark I can draw off of that. And, uh, gee, when I did this before, it was chattering and buzzing. It's quite a bit of change in the noise that it was putting out. That's just holding my hand there. And uh, if I touch it with my finger, I definitely feel the spark the the uh, the uh, little jolt at 1.7 kilohertz and when I when I touch the neon with the screwdriver you can see that the spike voltage goes down a little bit but it's still over 2 kilovolts there or actually 2500 volts 26 2700 volts there And the MOSFET does get hot, so here I'm cutting off. Okay, let's see if I can do this without blowing anything up. Uh, what I've done now is I've broken the output circuit. This is the 10 ohm load, and this is the 1 ohm CVR, and I've uh, unsoldered it right there, and there's about a 2 millimeter gap right in there right now. There's the neon with one end connected to test point A uh, and the other end just free. There's a clip lead there that I've connected to the uh, bottom end of the load that actually goes to the bottom of coil L3. And then the other end of that clip lead I'm going to probe in the circuit a little bit very carefully. Okay, so let's. Uh, Oh, and uh, that's the input voltage, 6.7 volts, before giving it any gate signal. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on the function generator. You can see that the neon started glowing. Now I'm going to take the, the end of that clip lead and touch it to the free end of the neon. 
So this is now substituting the neon for the load. You can see brilliant, brilliant spikes there, or br brilliant light from the NE2. And now I'm going to take and touch this guy to the negative rail, if I can do it without blowing the MOSFET. You can see I get a good spark there, and every once in a while, it's not doing it now. There we go. Uh, okay, that's enough. <laughs>